Hi, in this video I would like to show you how you can create documents based on uh, Google Forms uh, submissions. So here I have a sample form with like four questions. Uh, and every time users will fill in my form, um, I would like to generate document using the data filled by the user. So to achieve that, we'll use uh, two tools. One will be Zapier platform. Zapier is a tool to automate processes. And second will be Documentero platform which is an app that help you generate documents based on the custom templates. It supports Word and PDF files. Okay, let's get it started. So uh, first I will try, I will start with defining the trigger uh, in, in Zapier. So I selected up Google Forms and I will select event new form response. Okay, then I will connect Zapier to Google account, to Google Forms account. I already did that before the video, so this is done, so we can move on. And I need to select the form. I just created a simple form and named that sample form, so I will pick that one. I will continue. Okay, cool. As you can see, this part is done and now I need to define the action. So the action will use documentary integration. So I will look here documentary and I have two events to choose. So one is generate document and I would pick that one if I want to just generate document and do something with it. For example, I can upload the generated document into Google Drive or to some other tool. Or second option is that I can generate document and send it as email attachment, which is a little bit easier. So I will pick this one for this presentation. So let me move on with this. Okay, in the next step, I need to connect a documentary account with Zapier. So I will click here it will ask me for API key. And API key, once you register in Documentario um, app, uh, you can find in the account settings. So I will go here. As you can see, I'm already registered and logged in into Documentario. Uh, but here under your name, your account, you can find API key, which you just need to copy. So yeah. Let's open this model. Yes, continue. After a few seconds, uh, applications should connect to each other. I mean, Zapier and Documentero should talk to each other. And here, okay, here, here it goes. We have those apps connected. We, we see our account from Documentero connected to Zapier. So we can move on. Okay, uh, so here we are configuring the action. Uh, so first of all, we need to decide in what format uh, generated documents we would like to have. So one is Word docx format and second is PDF. I will pick PDF for now. Okay, next one is email that would like to receive the document. Obviously, we can pick the respondent email, but uh, just to make it more easy, I will pick my in my email here and uh, email subject i will put something like new form response uh, prom and i can map respondent email as field here we have also email message but we can omit this and okay we are going to the last field to configure which is document template template which is the most important one so we need to create a document template that you would like to fill in with this data whenever the form is submitted so to do that we need to go to the documentary platform 
as you can see i don't have any templates defined yet so i need to upload new one or create a template online uh, creating template online is a little bit easier so i will pick this option and here is our template i just make it a bit easier to understand so we have four different fields uh, here those fields are in the curly brackets so in in place of these four fields i would like to inject the response from the google form user so let's let's save this sample template in the platform okay cool uh, as you can see the template is uploaded uh, application detected four fields in this document template that's all we have to do uh, in the app we will go back to zapier i will refresh fields and after a while i can select my sample document and if i select this document template um, all the fields detected in the document template should appear here and I can connect those fields with uh, responses from, uh, sorry, from the fields from the Google form. So this is pretty straightforward here because uh, the name of the fields in the document template and the name of fields in the form are kind of the same. So I will just map the field called name with the field called name in the document template. I will do the same for country. I will do the same for city and age. So I have all these four fields mapped. I have document template selected. I define the email that we like to receive this document and the format of the document is defined as well. So. I guess everything is ready. We can continue. We can test this action. So let's see if it works. So after a while I should receive, okay, it's done. So I should receive an email on my inbox. Okay, here, as you can see, I received email with the document. Let's take a look. So yeah, this is a text, text data. So, uh, sorry, test data. Uh, so j just to make sure it's working. So I can go back to my Zapier definition and I guess we're all set here so we can publish the Zap. So after waiting a while, my zap is on. This is cool. So I can go back to my sample form and go to preview, fill in all the data, test in five, uh, submit the form and after a while zapier should uh, detect the form submission from google create a document on the fly and automatically send it to my email as an attachment so let's let's check the email it could take like up to one minute i guess uh, Okay, here it is. Uh, we received new form response. Uh, and we can see that our PDF document is filled in with the data from the Google Forms. That's how you can automate document generation from Google Forms. Uh, if you have any question, please ask them on, on, under the video. 
and I'm here to help. Thank you. Have a good day and automate everything.